Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5 as the Iroquois Marathon Game Speed. So, where you last left off, the barbarians had really ticked me off. But yeah, and I believe, because this is a different session, that I was going to go with the pyramids because it takes basically two and a half uh, workers to make this. And seeing as it gives a 25% boost, I think it's worth the risk, even if I don't get it. I mean, if I don't get it, I'll just buy a worker with the uh, money that it helps give me, because I'm still like 200 short. 300 short, actually. So, I just gotta get all this stuff up and running again. Otherwise, I just gotta get buildings up. I am gonna have to work on my happiness, though, because I do only have... I guess this has these two that will eventually be in range. And I can't expand anymore over here because I told her I wasn't going to do that. But I can't expand down here. And I do want to grab the silk. The question is, should I risk going way down here and try to cut this off from the Aztecs, who are apparently amassing an army because they're not spreading at all? Or what? And I believe it was Doc Soro who mentioned that the AI like can't win. Um, this way. And I wouldn't say they can't win. I, I think it's maybe unlikely for them to win with all the other uh, victory conditions off. My reason for that is I've played games where um, not so much since with this AI, but the older AI where like one AI would just dominate another. And I, I don't know. I feel like they should have really Declaration of Friendship has expired. Let's keep that going. Oops, why did I do that? I want to see if I can keep that going. Здравствуй. Продолжай. Uh, discuss. Продолжай. Sweet. Um. What was I saying? Oh, the AI. Right. I. I think the AI can do it because I've had games where the AI takes out like an entire continent. Like, it, it's not un impossible for that to happen. Uh, Score-wise, I would see that being a bit more of a difficulty. It's really about finding a balance between uh, difficulties because um, difficulty 5 allows you to build a lot of the wonders. You won't get them all. Um, if you can get kind of a tech advantage and keep getting techs, uh, you Everything's will be back. more likely to get that. Okay, so the question is, do I want to start mining this? Let's see, what am I working? The tiles. Oops. Okay. Plus one production. Plus one production. Plus one production. See, this tile is going to give me food. It gives the two food, and I am already working it. Um, I don't need to have this immediately. I'm gonna, I'm going to swing around and pick up everything this way. I really should get a stable in here. What's the, what is, yeah. We'll go for the stable. Oh, I was gonna go for philosophy, but I think we can hold off one more. But getting a stable would, would be good. I'll put you on production focus. Nothing happens. Brilliant! Okay, my Pantheon looks relatively strong. Which one was it? Plus one from Pastures? Culture from Pastures, I think it was. Which really would make uh, a city over here worth it. I see one here, one here, maybe. And then one down here, maybe. That's a lot of cities though, and there's not a lot of luxury resources around here. At least not a lot of unique ones. You already have a monument, right? Yeah, good. So your border should be expanding. Wow, 19 turns. Awesome. If I can remain friendly relations with uh, Catherine, though, uh, I will be... Fairly content, because I don't think she'll attack me if we're friends. But her AI is a little weird, because she'll get aggressive. 
They really start attacking you. I could go pick up that marble. Actually, having a naval city with the marble would be pretty decent. Two, three, maybe right there. Or actually on that hill. Yeah, that would be the best. I get access to the marble, it would be on the ocean, and I have all these forests around. Ah, oh, they got built. That's not really surprising. And I already have the hanging gardens queued. Um, and we still need more cash to buy a worker, because there's 700. And I need a worker more than, uh, I need another settler. I don't have the happiness really to expand any further. No. I know where you are. And if you don't know where I am, I am content with that. Yeah, someone's already ahead of me. Whoever built the pyramids is ahead of me. Somebody is going to be doing really well this game. They're going to be a threat to contend with. So as for playing through this game, um, I'm kind of figuring like score-wise means more or less domination. I feel like the best thing to do is focus on establishing a solid empire that can spam units relatively quickly and after I do that uh, start wiping people out I'll probably start with the Aztecs um, and then I'll probably take out Catherine once we become enemies and then I'll be a warmonger and then everyone will want to attack me probably that's probably what we'll do How's like another place's production when it comes to wonders? Crap! 250 turns for that. Yuck. Even. What I'll probably do is buy the worker here and just use him to help finish up my uh, capital. And then once these guys get around like size 5-ish, then it'll be worth uh, building a road between the two. And hopefully around that time my culture will spread out and allow me to use the forest as roads. And I have considered building the, what is it? Yeah, the Terracotta Army. I have considered that, but I thought against it, unless I don't have anything else I need to build. I'll probably build this and then build the stable. By that time, I should be able to get to the Oracle, which is what I would prefer, because it's a free policy, because uh, I think getting a... Because I know that like getting a free great person actually is technically not free. You just get an immediate great person. Um, it actually increases the net cost of the next one. No. Yeah, if I can get Onodaga to really like grow, uh, it will be quite the capital city. And this is essentially three more population. Uh, also, the increased growth is nice. The great artist points are nice. I have a great, I have great scientist points. Um, this will get, also give me a free garden, which will boost that. And I have great engineer points. So if it's large, it'll also have specialists, which will be nice. But right now, I want to focus on uh, food and production. So I want it to grow and produce more. And I'm not really exploring or anything. Um, I don't like to explore too much. At this point, not knowing people I found to be more beneficial. And this is because if you don't meet people, then they don't like have a, like a, they don't have time to like hate you, essentially. 
So you're more likely to get trade agreements unless you've been a real warmonger. And he's got the biggest army. That's not surprising. Montezuma does not have a big army. That means he might be expanding over in this direction a little bit. But I would find that kind of be kind of surprising. What? <sighs> so that's going to... Okay, she just... You know what? That's going to piss off everybody. Because we were friends. Oh, that's because she expanded out here. So now I'm like really close to her territory or some stupid... <laughs> 700 exactly. Okay. Yeah, I will buy another worker. Now she's calling my empire puny. She's hostile. Why? They just covet lands I currently own. Let me see. Oh, no one else cares apparently. But my friends had reason to denounce me. Maybe they realized that she's a total... Okay, so... That... What's my next policy? Out of curiosity. 13 turns? I probably should go and start going down tradition. Although I probably will... F Let me see. How much... Oh, I will want representation, and then I'll probably just finish up with uh, meritocracy so that I can get a free great person, which will be a great engineer, or a great scientist. And then I'll probably grab legalism and monarchy. Or representation, then legalism, because I should have a monument in all my cities by then. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have you come over here. You'll work on, like, the tiles. And Onodaga. Oh, we're unhappy. That's part of the reason. And that'll be rectified shortly. Interesting how these trees count as roads with bridges. Even though I don't think I have that tech yet. I think that's engineering. Let's move you in the forest so you can kind of cover the entire area. These guys actually have decent production because my happiness is terrible. Stop hanging around me, darn it. Oh. Hey, I guess you'd want to be a pincushion for barbarians. Mark yourself out. That wasn't seven turns to repair that. Oh well, whatever. It may have been seven turns, I guess. Probably should build the walls here next to it. It already has a monument. To queue walls. Wow. Well, oh, that reminds me. When do I get my. F oh, it's 600 faith. It's quite a bit. Stonehenge really helps. I should get a pretty decent jump on. I don't think a religion's been founded yet. That would be insane. religions. I'll definitely get one. A minor victory. Good enough. Okay. I can live with that. Oh, right. I wanted to check... 
stable. 16 turns. Yeah, we'll build that after the hanging gardens. And then we'll see what happens. Darn it. I'm not going to kill him. These are probably going to raise this. That sucks. I have to go back and f fix that. Uh, you're still perfectly safe. Maybe the, this will lure them away. to do something about my happiness though I think we're gonna get the no we're not gonna get this how much will that Kyle toss tile cost might be worth buying she'll get pissed I want to see if I can't get this dies as well and maybe like five more military units Policy, right. Representation. Um, this will drop. Culture cost by policies is 33% less. 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 Did not tell me? Huh. I think this is like a 10 or ten to 30% increase. So this drops it down by like 10%. Puts me in a golden age. Yeah, let's grab representation. Give me some more gold. Yeah, and it's 20 turns of Golden Age, which is nice. Yeah, now it's repaired and I can sell. Let's see. Attila! Alaya! Greetings to you. Let's see, 240 with 720. I'll take 650. Do you like that deal? Yeah. Awesome. And then that could be my third order. Question is, do I put him here? Or here? I'm going to buy him. Well, actually, can I buy the stable? Boost my... It's a thousand. Do I save up for that? Or do I buy military units? That's the other thing. Why don't, I, why don't I? Why don't I save up? I'll try to keep it a decent amount of gold. Wow! Any deal we suggest would result in an unfair exchange for you. Wow, that's so nice of you. But you still have the most amount of money. So four forty-five and three per turn. And no embassies. Shikuyin in Tleno and Timitsilia, no so shik shikuyin in Tleno and Mopan Pa. The only reason I did that was because I'm getting this. And eventually I'm going to be getting the ones down here as well. I have enough. Getting this stable, it's for every pasture, right? Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four. Three definitely with improved production. Yeah, let's spend that money. Whoa. Did I only have... Okay, that was right, yeah. Dropped a little more than I thought it would, but that's okay. Boost in production is nice. Let's go ahead and improve everything we can. I'll have another one to sell here in a little bit, but... Oh, six turns? Oh, was it six turns? Might have been. Probably 
probably shouldn't have done that, actually. So I'm not done. I only had to turn left. Interesting. Now it's done. Ilha, conta no mai que ele snu, ruti sempre uma lá. I don't want to do that because that might piss off Catherine even more. She's still hostile to me. Dummy. So your city size seven. This is mine. Got it. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so Temple of Artemis. Ten percent growth in all cities, fifty percent fruitness production, great engineer points, makes you help One, two, three, okay. Um I have some time. It'll it'll time out pretty close, and this will give two more gold from each of these tiles, and it will be nice if I start using great people, which is good. We've got good production now, and good growth. Actually, can I go on a production focus? Is there any difference? I have to wait till the turn. It's back. Okay. No difference. But I'm growing nicely. We got a pasture over here as soon as possible. Get this other forest going. As soon as I get this, I need to sell, and I'll probably use that money to buy these tiles. I want to get a hold of those dyes and that silver in my territory. And then I might save up for another worker to buy over there and keep these two between these two cities. And then I'll buy to start expanding over here. But yeah, I really am going to split. No. No Aztecs. That, that was turn 250. I should have stopped there. So Attila has to pick one of them. So we, we're at turn 251. Should have stopped at 250. Oh well. Uh, manufactured goods were in first. Awesome. Gross national product. We are in second. Well, we're in a golden age. So. Soldiers are not doing great. Literacy, we're in seventh. Yeah, that's not that surprising. Um, once these two cities really start growing. Will be good. I could focus on getting libraries and just try to bomb Russian National College, or maybe focus on like great scientists. Yeah, we're gonna get this bonus first. Still gonna be a while. Anyway, I'm cutting the video off here. So thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.